Earthquakes don't kill people, buildings do. Size doesn't kill, location does. Hard rock is safe and soft clay is deadly. In this new series, we're gonna talk about how soft soil kills. And yes, I know that does not rhyme. On the 6th of February 2016, a magnitude 6.4 earthquake struck at a depth of 23 kilometers, which is pretty shallow, in the southern Taiwan. Shaking extended far west, strangely. And CCTV footage shows the ground rocking violently in Tainan, causing buildings to collapse, over 30 kilometers northwest from the epicenter. Meanwhile, 30 kilometers southeast from the epicenter, the ground only shook mildly. Why was the shaking and damage so severe in Tainan? Well, it has to do with ground conditions. Tainan is located, like most of Taiwan's major cities, on soft sediments, which tend to amplify shaking. The thing is that the earthquake's epicenter is actually on mountains. Mountains are hard, they're made of rock. If there is an earthquake and they do shake, it tends to be more of a vibration than a violent side-to-side -side motion. However, in sediments, the ground is a bit softer, which tends to rock like a ship at sea. It's causing this strong, somewhat low-frequency side-to-side motion, which is more damaging to taller buildings due to resonance, just as Mexico City. This, combined with the rather questionable construction of this 17-story apartment building, contributed to the high death toll of over 100. This is a good example of soil amplification and resonance. It's also a good example of how shaking patterns for earthquakes are often more complicated than simple circles that get weaker with distance. So keep that in mind. Also, please do not build buildings out of cans because apparently that's a bad idea.